Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Chakisha Sims, and I am back with my second plan with me and my Erin Condren Life Planner. And as you can probably tell or should know by now that this is the binder system. This is the charcoal color and I have the horizontal layout. So this week I am um, trying to be a little more proactive and I did some pre-planning. So I wanna show you how I pre-planned and did my layout um, in regards to giving me some direction in regards to how I will decorate and plan for the week of July the 29th through August the 4th. So if you wanna see all of that, keep watching. All right, so really quickly before we actually get into all of that, I do wanna show you how I have already started working in my monthly page and my monthly view. Um, so this is my part where I will put my analytics and put my videos and as you can see, highlighting the ones that I've completed thus far. Um, and then this is my monthly. I haven't really added a lot in here yet, but I just wanted you to get a glimpse and see what I have done <laughs> since I posted the video. All right, so what I've went ahead and did um, because I'm trying to find a balanced structure that I can stay with in my EC Life Planner because this is the command center for Sims Enterprises. And I wanted to make sure that the flow was natural and not so hard to kind of follow through. And the reason I say that, just to kind of flip back through from my first week in planning, um, when you saw the video, I wasn't super excited about the um, <laughs> way the spread turned out, but I actually started liking it once I started using it. Um, but once I started using it, I kind of felt like I was all over the place. There was no structure. So this week, that's why I went in and I did my pre-planning by sticking my sticky um, notes throughout so I kind of know how I want to do that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to move these out to the sides so, and so I know exactly how I need to plan once I've done my decorations. So let's go ahead and jump straight into decorating. I'm going to try to primarily use this student um, sticker book and this is from the new July release and this is the functional sticker book so it's a lot of boxes so I can't wait to start using it. All right, so what I'm doing now is laying date covers, and these date covers came from the Happy Planner journaling sticker book. And what I decided to do, because last week I did not use any dates, and to be honest, it did kind of throw me off a little bit um, because it was certain things that I did need to do on certain days, and because I was kind of like jumbling everything up in the categories. It just kind of uh, confused me. So I decided to try it this way this week to see how it works. Um, aesthetically, it looks like it may work, um, but practically I'll have to see, but I kind of feel like it will. Um, so what I'm doing now is just readjusting them because these boxes are a little wider um, well, the boxes are a little shorter, but the strips are a little wider than the actual box. So I'm using this um, Erin Condren, um, the little ruler, clear ruler that they include in each one of your um, planners. I'm using that to cut. And that's my dryer. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, yeah, that just moved. Um, I forgot what I said, what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I was saying, uh, you probably haven't, well, my 
hopefully you would have seen the Hobonichi video by the time you've seen this, but I was mentioning how I really like having this clear ruler because you can see exactly if you're over the line or if you're too far in um, versus when you use more of those solid kind of rulers, you kind of got to make sure you're getting it. So I really like this clear ruler. Um, so now I'm just using these date um, dots, these clear um, date dots that came out of one of my Happy Planner books. And what I actually did, I went through all of my Happy Planner books that had these um, clear dots, clear um, date dots, and I just pulled them out because it became a hassle having to flip through to trying to find them. And because I use a lot of date dots in most of my spreads, it's good to have them all in one place. Um, so they all fit perfectly. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just white out the dates because these areas are where I will actually be labeling my categories in which I am using this planner for. And um, as you all know, this is the um, command center for Sims Enterprises. And because I am the admin, <laughs> the wife, and you know the business woman I am, I needed to have my own personal planner. Um, well, not really personal because it's more business, but I needed to have this planner so I can be able to have everything in one planner. Um, yeah, technically I could have, I could orchestrate my whole life in one planner, but for me, I like to have separate planners for separate categories. Um, and these box stickers that I'm using, they are so cute, but these are actually student stickers out of the student book. So these say things like to read, quiz, test, and I don't need those stickers. Um, they do have a few of them that says to do. So of course I will keep those for a later date. Um, so what I plan on doing to cover those titles up, I'm just going to use these stickers that script stickers that I made myself on my silhouette. Um, and now just doing some readjusting. Um, but back to the purpose of the plan. This planner is, and I've said this in previous videos, I'm the type of person, I don't like my food touching each other. And I feel the same with my planner. Um, one, it just gets mixed up and messy. And then you're trying to, okay, is this a personal appointment or is this a business appointment? You know, is this for me or is this for him? So having it this way works way, way better. Um, and I'm also an able, I'm able to, you know, add the things that I need to manage for myself business wise, which is content creating my salon, um, my websites, because I have multiple websites, um, that I manage, but I have one landing page and I'm still trying to figure out how I can merge all of those pages onto that one page. <laughs> so. I won't have to have multiple sites that I'm paying for, but it just works perfectly. Like you click, it take you directly to that shop, that website. I don't have to do any recreating on the landing page. So, you know, that might just have to keep that in the budget because I like having my landing page take you directly to those separate websites. But anyway, I say all that say is I have to make sure I'm managing, making sure that I am, um, checking to make sure everything is going well on the website checking to see what my traffic looks like on the website and also i use those to send my newsletter so it's very important for me to have that separate category and then as you see on the last two boxes on the right um which would typically be sunday and then a blank box i'm just going to use that for my this week area to write down anything outside of what i need to do in each category um, so now what I'm doing is laying these checklist stickers um, and I am just using all the colors um, I'm not doing what is it the Roy G Biv I'm just pulling colors so <laughs> if this is close to the Roy G Biv method then hey I'm doing Roy G Biv <laughs> but I just was pulling them because I just I just wanted to be bright because I do so many pastels and neutrals in my a5 and then my Hobonichi. I just figure, you know, when you have different planners, have fun and try different styles. It's kind of, well, to me, it's kind of boring if all of my planners look the same. 
if I want all of my plans to look, look the same, then I'll just buy one planner. So in this one, I'm not going to say that I'm going to always do all brights. And I'm not even going to say I'm going to always decorate. Um, but it is fun when you are a planner babe to have fun with your stickers. Um, so I'm just going through. And this is what sold me these note, um, noted stickers. I absolutely love them. If I could have just used them only on the spread, I would have. But I love to have variety. Um, so I'm just putting that one back because it was a little bit too big for the area. Um, maybe if this was a vertical planner, it might have fit. It might would fit, but I don't know. Um, so I'm just pulling one of my film stickers off of the principle that I got from the planner shack. And I kind of feel like as time progresses, y'all are going to probably start seeing a lot more printables. And who knows, you might see a lot more printables created by moi. Yes, moi. But again, like I said in my previous video, that does not mean I am open to nobody's shop. I'm sorry. Sometimes you got to know what you're good at. And sometimes you got to be, you know, be okay with being a consumer. <laughs> I'm okay with being a consumer when it comes to stickers. Um, so now I wanted to um, create an area just for my PR post because I've been... I haven't been posting as consistency as lately and I do kind of contribute that to me not um, making sure that I'm sticking with a schedule um, now some of the shops that I PR for um, my terms have expired I need to check to see um, if my code is still good um, right now I am still actively PRing for shop LCA which is Lysink out and I am still actively PRing for Maddie Poser Studios and I am PRing for Planner Aesthetic. I know my term with Stickers by Rhonda, um, I believe, is either coming to an end this week or at the end of August, but I have to make sure. But if you want to still try my code, just try them. Um, but if it doesn't work, just let me know. Um, that way I can remove it. Um, and so I have some other exciting things coming up in the works. Oh, I cannot wait to share with you guys. But I'm going to make y'all wait. I'm going to make y'all wait. But yeah, so right here I'm just adding these. Um, I guess these will be considered quarter boxes as well. Um, because I want to be able to be more active in some of the things that I was doing when I first started planning. Like doing Washi Wednesdays posting in like each week I want to post in a group um, you know there's so many groups out there but I want to be able to post in you know some different groups um, and you know just to put my content out there to let the world know that I am here hear me roar <laughs> so if y'all have any groups um, besides the usual suspects um, that you think um, would like to see my videos and my posts um, drop that in my comments box. I would love to participate and just, you know, build connections and grow um, my relationships with other planner babes. Um, so now on this part, I do believe this is the area for my podcast in which oh, it has been a struggle. Let me tell you about my podcast. So when I went, when I launched that I was doing season two, I had already said that I would probably do once a month starting out and I am learning that when I speak things and when God tells me things I have to be obedient you know sometimes we get overzealous and we want to do all the things just like we want to buy all the things and last week I decided I was okay I'm gonna do every other week last week was what appeared to be an epic fail but it was actually a good thing um, I had had a whole podcast um, written out and everything and then when I re-listen to it because I try my best to re-listen before I put stuff out and it I was like God was like don't put that out there so I deleted it and I did a whole nother one it was uploading and uploading and never uploaded and I did what I normally do I hit refresh and normally it would cause you know force it to upload don't you know it canceled and it did not even save and that podcast was fire um so real quickly um i decided to use these um planner kate's hobonichi um dividers 
to use as cover up over the note sections um, because I didn't want to white it out and the stickers that I was using would not cover it because I was using clear stickers as you can see at the bottom of this spread and these are also these actually came out of the that big sticker book what was it the 5144 or something like that yeah so I pulled them out because I use those frequently so anyway so the podcast I was like yes this is gonna be great and then it ain't even work and that thing kind of got to me and I was just like my day had already kind of started off um, uninspired and I was feeling a little bit defeated but I was like I'm still gonna push through because this is what I signed up to do um, so as I thought about what I talked about on the podcast and it was becoming um, because I'm like big on the story of Ruth and how she became you know this woman throughout all of her tragedy throughout her loss throughout you know her lack and I'm just big on just redemption and what I was ministering to what I thought would be to you guys it was God tell, telling me to minister to myself and once I realized that after talking to one of my good girlfriends I was just like okay no big deal so I said all that to say is I am still having my podcast but I'm not gonna force the growth of anything I'm gonna let it happen organically um, so you know I don't have to have 20 listens 100 listens even if I can just reach one person that's the point of me doing all that I do doing my YouTube channel doing my vlogs doing my podcast if I can at least have one person listen and say that they were inspired by it then that is perfect um, and I had to remind myself that like I'm becoming this person that wants to inspire people but through that I have to realize that you know what God has for me is for me and when it looks like it's a failure or a rejection or denial it's just, you know, it's just God saying, hold on, boo-boo. We had an agreement, so I'm going to need you to follow your agreement. <laughs> so, you know, stay tuned. Look on the lookout for another podcast um, episode coming really, really soon. And I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> so I've already gotten over to the second half of this spread. And I am using more functional stickers, less decorative um, so as you can see on the business and the website, which they are kind of tied together, I decided to use the full box sticker instead of the half box sticker. And because this is a, a business type planner, I like to have words of affirmation in there to remind me. So I figured I'll go check out um, this Women in Power sticker book. Um, I didn't really find anything in this one, um, but I did end up going and finding a couple of quotes out of the um, the Gold Star Quotes sticker book, which that one was actually one of my favorite ones that I used to use all the time. Um, and you see I kind of laid that one down lightly because I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to use that. And actually, I'm looking over at my desk, and it's still stuck up there. So I need to make sure I put that back. Um, so what I decided to do is to use this um, weekend project sticker um, because I want to always try to focus on one main weekend project um, outside of what I would normally do. So outside of my normal, and this is for my content stuff. So outside of my normal plan with me's and decorate with me I want to be able to provide you all with one at least one video that is either non-planner related or um, that doesn't have to do with an actual planner um, you know in sticker kind of thing um, so I decided to pull out the color store sticker book which when I got it I won't feel in it for real like I was like I don't know why they made this sticker book like I want my colorful boxes like the original colorful boxes sticker book back but God is amazing he doesn't do anything by accident he was like Keisha 
hold on to the sticker book because in the future you will find a sticker book that will work perfectly with this sticker book and lord and behold the new student value pack sticker book matches perfectly it's like a perfect parent you know how you go to the restaurant and they tell you you know you have your meal and they give you the perfect parent like what wine or what beer you know unfortunately they don't tell you what lemonade to drink but they'll always tell you what the perfect parent is so that would be something fun like if happy planner did like a perfect pairing sticker book like if you have this sticker book that sticker book would be paired perfectly with that that's a good idea I might I might do me a couple videos like that that might be some projects that I work on um, so now I'm just using my um, my highlighter just to highlight the dates of the week that I'm in um, even though I do have the dates on the planner this week I still want to make sure that I highlight those um, as a reminder um, so now I'm just gonna go through and look for a couple of more um, stickers to add I'm definitely gonna put this washi on top um, because this color does not match um, what I have here and to be honest that bar does not bother me at all um, I could definitely see myself just leaving that up there um, but since it's all super duper colorful I figured might as well go ahead and put the icing on the cake um, you know I don't like a dry cake I like a little bit of icing so there you have it so I'm about to finish this decorating and as you can tell my voice is getting weaker and weaker because I have been doing feels like hundreds of videos this week <laughs> so I'm gonna let the video play and let you hear the nice music that I found to play and then we will close it out with the recap. Alright love, so I am finished my spread in my EC Life Binder and again this is the um, main planner for Sims Enterprises and when I say main planner, it's my main planner. I'm actually the, 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 the administrator of everything that happens for Sims Enterprises, therefore the purpose of this life planner. 
and I'm really loving how this spread turned out very colorful um, I don't know what's going on with me with these bright colors um, this is like the second spread that I did in this planner well I only did two <laughs> but anyway it is very colorful and I am loving it and what I did I realized by using this student planner that the colorful boxes sticker book paired very well with it um, especially as I got towards the end I realized that I was like I got a sticker book that has these colors um, so I don't know I might do some pairing videos um, in the future because I have so many happy planner sticker books um, that I just use bits and pieces but I think I might do some videos in regards to pairing so if anyone is interested in doing a spread pairing two sticker books from the happy planner drop me a comment below and let me know and speaking of dropping comments if you like this video make sure you drop a comment and give me a big old thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it and as well if you haven't already done so at this point make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos so I'm excited in, um, to start writing my plans out. I already did some pre-planning for the things that I know I need to do. Um, and I can't wait to show y'all after the pin next week. So if this video has inspired you, do me a favor and share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, loves, peace.